Hello, it's November 2nd. We are in a new month and it's a new plan with me. I will be planning in the dashboard layout that I use for a couple of different things. This side where you plan out your week, I use for the different zones in my house that I need to focus on for that day. And then this side over here, grocery shopping list, where what stores I grocery shop, what I need to stock up on, cleaning, and then dinner ideas. Um, didn't use it for this week, <laughs> but that's what I do. And then I do it over here. What you guys don't have, what I don't have in here, um, but you guys will see, this is what this week is gonna look like. Um, I have this. This came with the home extension pack from Happy Planner that you can still buy and my grocery list. So when I fill out what stores I need to get, I mean, what stores I need to go to and what food items I need to get, fill out my grocery list. And I like this as your month, weekly menu plans and you can put snacks and like a recipe on it. So I got this dashboard layout right when I started doing plan with me in the dashboard from the caregiver extension, just in case I wanted to switch it up. And so then when I got this, I wanted to use it for, um, let's go back to the beginning of all this. I was still using this for this, for the same thing. I wanted to get it for like tracking my meals, but I got kind of bored with it. As you can see, didn't finish it. And then Jamie, my best friend Jamie, gave me the idea that's usually hers for things she wanted to put. I was like, that's a great idea because that's going to work out better. And it has worked out better. And so that is what this week is looking like. And this plan with me may be a little lengthy because I'm going to go over how I pick the zones that I focus on. So you guys know I'm heavily into cleaning. I love cleaning. I don't look at it as a chore. I look forward to it actually when I wake up in the morning because the outcome is that I have a clean house and I, I think everyone should take pride in having a clean home. That's just my personal opinion. When you have a clean home, your head is more clear. There's not a lot of clutter going on. So yeah. Um, so I really love cleaning, but even though I clean the, er, the rooms every single day, like I clean every room every single day, there are certain things I may want to focus on in a certain room. And I'm going to go over like how I pick those and I pick certain things that I want to focus on for the next week. And then I just put it on any given day. That's usually how it works. So this week right here, um, I had the carpets and baseboards um, and then what I need to do, like wipe down the baseboards and freshen up the carpet with like some carpet freshener, then bathrooms, like the nooks and crannies, like the corners and everything, the baseboards in there. And then um, Wednesday sidewalks. So I went out yesterday, I'm filming this on Thursday and I spray the sidewalks down to get all the dirt and dust off. And the girl's bedrooms are, is actually being done today. So I'll cross that off once it's done. Today was all the rooms just going through and dusting, vacuum if needed, which it did, and then the frames and tables, which is what I did. Tomorrow is Grout Fridays. Grout Fridays is always going to be Grout Fridays. It's never going to change the day. All baseboards, which I probably will not have to do. Saturday, freshen up the rooms and laundry is the laundry room, um, and that'll always be the laundry room because I do laundry on Sundays. So how I wrote down how I picked the zones. I wrote it down right here. How... I pick the zones a lot of times when I'm cleaning something and it takes a little too long. I'll say, okay, you know what? Let me focus on this next week. So like if I'm cleaning a certain corner or I'm cleaning the area of the house, I'm just like, okay, this is take, taking a little too long. So I need to make sure I focus on this for next week. So it doesn't take as long. So that's a tip that I can give you. Like if you're cleaning a certain area in your house, you're just like, I spent 30 minutes cleaning this area. I need to focus more on that. So maybe you could say, okay, next week, let me focus on this. So it doesn't take as long. Um, and then sometimes if I'm cleaning something, say I'm focusing on the baseboards and I notice that the walls around me are dirty, I'll wipe those down while I'm doing that. And that reminds me to focus on that for the next week as well. Um, and then other times I think of, you know, I just think of things I normally wouldn't clean, like the top of the cabinets, the top of your coffee maker, dust, all of that stuff. Um, like the top of your fridge, baseboards is something that people normally don't think to clean, but it's a dust magnet. So usually when I do this, it's, it adds to my cleaning, but I don't mind it because it's clean. It's a clean house, you know? So yeah, that is that. That's how I pick my zones. It's different every week. So I don't plan like the whole month of zones. I just see what I focused on for the current week. And that lets me know what I need to focus on for the next week. That's pretty much it. So let's get into it. 
I do not use the monthly in here. I really don't need to. Um, this is a, a extension kit and I will be using, I will continue this into 2021. This is the Walmart exclusive planner that I got and it starts in January and it's a dashboard layout and it, I already put these in here and that's what it looks like right there, right there. I like the dashboard for, layout for this. I wouldn't use it as a catch all. I, it's not nearly enough space for me. All right. So we are going to, these are the zones I'm focusing on for this coming week. Um, kitchen and bathroom is done daily. It's done daily. There may be things where I'm like, oh, okay, Tuesday I'm going to focus on the bathroom drawers. That means going through all the drawers. But the bathroom and kitchen gets cleaned every single day, which it should. You should be cleaning your bathroom and kitchen every day. The zones I'm focusing on, um, all baseboards and door frames, and I, put, I forgot to put light switches. Um, blinds and dust furniture on Tuesday. Top of kitchen cabinets next Wednesday. Um, carpets on Thursday. Grout Fridays. Um, Saturdays, freshen up all rooms. And Sunday is the laundry room. And things can always get added to this. So heck, I had a phone call for my daughter's school. All right. So anyway, what I was saying is it can, things can be added to it. Things can be changed. It is what it is. All right. So I'm just going to take this out right here and take this out. I do have the sticker guides down. Um, doing a little Cinderella. thought Cinderella was appropriate um, because of the cleaning. Um, I already have next week's decorated in my um, vertical and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, it is Tiana. Oh my God. Okay. So that is what next week is looking like. I love how this turned out, but yes. Okay. So I'm just going to take these out and take this page out right here. And so you guys know I've been putting a lot of cleaning stuff on Instagram lately. So you guys can see you guys have been loving it. So I've been incorporating it into my planning content, which I think kind of goes hand in hand with each other, cleaning, planning, how I plan everything. And so I am glad you guys are enjoying it. It feels kind of nice to bring something other than planning um, to my platform. So yeah. All right. Um, but if you want to see like full on cleaning videos where I dedicate time, like putting up my camera and filming Patreon for that. All right. So I'm just going to take these off right here. I like these little shopping stickers. And this is the sticker book that's found at Walmart um, that you can get now. Um, and there's another one that's coming. There's some more that's coming out like the, by the time you see this, it's already been out. Um, and so, yeah. Um, the time I'm filming this, I don't know what I'm ordering. There's a desk calendar that comes with a sticker book. And that's a real, that's a more functional one because it's for the desk calendar. So I'm thinking I'm just going to order the desk calendar and get the functional sticker book, two birds with one stone. And then, um, then what I'm going to do, um, shopping should be here and then errands should be there. Yeah. All right. I forgot what I was saying. Jesus Christ. I forgot that quickly. Okay. Aaron's like the places I need to go. There we go. Okay. So I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, these are from the colorful shapes book. It is this book's right here. This book right here. I love the colorful shapes and colorful boxes because you can easily just, you know, um, add it to your spread. And there's a bunch of different colors in there. I can't believe I lost my train of thought that quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying the content, you know, putting it on there and everything. And, you know, it kind of brings a different audience and whatnot. And it's funny. Um, the day I'm filming this is the day that I'm going to have um, Morgan record a podcast with me. I mean, the day this goes up, not the day I'm filming this. Um, Morgan, who is, um, her Instagram is home underscore cleaning underscore with underscore valors her name is morgan valor and um this is crooked and i found her because she, somebody sent me a screenshot because um morgan had talked about how she had been sh um clean shamed before for cleaning her house and someone sent me a story by her talking about like she doesn't like her house to look lived in aka messy 
And so I started following her and she's like my cleaning guru. And so I wanted to do a podcast episode with her. So I'm, the day this goes live, I'm filming a podcast with her and I cannot wait, cannot wait. Um, and I just want to talk to her about like, you know, like has she always been this way? And, you know, cause she deep cleans like every single week, you know, I'm just like, has she always been this way? And like, um, you know, what made her get into this whole cleaning habit and everything. So I can't wait to talk to her as I love her. I love watching her stories every single day. Um, so yeah, and she's a mom of two and I just, I, I, I love it. And so, yeah. Um, so I'm just covering these up because I really wish like Happy Planner would leave these blank like calls, emails, bills to pay. Cause I mean, every week, nobody, every week there's not a bill to pay you know, and every, you know, and then every day you don't have to make calls and emails or every week or whatever. Um, so yeah, but yeah, um, the dashboard layout is one of those layouts where it's really difficult to want to decorate because there's so little space to write for the day. And that's why I love using a vertical because, um, because you get a little more space to decorate. So yeah, I'm covering this box. And I really wish they would quit with that box right there too. So I just cover that up with the full box. Cinderella right there. And then um, focus. I just I wish they would just keep the boxes. First of all, quit coloring this box in. But keep the boxes, but just keep them blank. So they're very versatile. There we go right there. All right, so this is just going to be... Um, groceries and this is going to be stock up on and this is going to be so any cleaning I know for sure I'm going to need some bleach I'm going to get another thing of Tide that's all I know of for now oh stock up on so for grocery shopping I know I'm going to need some chicken some fish. Um, some veggies. Some fruit. Some cereal. These are things I know off the top of my head. Um, some snack food. I don't know what, but I know we need like some snacks to snack on. Um, coffee. And creamer. I, th I think we need Splenda. I'm not exactly sure. So what I for stock up on, I know I need to stock up on Gatorade. That means get more than a normal amount because we always go through it in flavor water. There we go. And dinner ideas. I don't know dinner ideas yet. All right. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then we have this page right here. And so I'm just gonna take this. And these are like the monthly stickers that, um, and it's cut out so you can put, so the number shows. So I'm just gonna put that. All right. And I'm going to put today, I kept it very simple because like I said, it's, the dashboard is hard to decorate because you can't put a full box. It covers up half your box. Um, you know, even if you turn it on its side, you know, you can't really put a lot of decorative stuff on there. All right, just about done here with the stickers. I kept it very minimal with the stickers. Put that right there. Okay, so let's talk about how I got into cleaning. Like when I was raised or whatever, I was always raised to put things away. I wasn't really taught how to like really get in there and clean things. Um, when we moved into this house, before we moved in, I made, I was like, this is our, you know, we're building our first home. Um, so I really want to take pride in that home. And my husband is 
like a clean freak to begin with. He, like he hates germs and not as bad as a lot of people, but he likes things to be clean. And so I knew when we moved into this house, I was like, I want to make sure, you know, that we're keeping it clean. So I've, since we moved here, I've always been a person that has been on top of cleaning, you know, but I hated it because where did I have this? I hated it because I wasn't being efficient. Like it was taking too long and it was too many products and, you know, just having to do way too much. And so it wasn't like maybe this summer when COVID started, I knew I really had to get on. So I started like really getting into cleaning. And it was when Jamie had told me about Go Clean Co. And I had start, um, Go Clean Co. Where's my zone list? Okay. And they were telling me like the, the little amount of products that you need. I was like, oh, okay. So it was like Tide, Bleach, Water, um, some Dawn dish soap, some vinegar, and some Barkeeper's Friend, and some microfiber bags. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I, once I started cleaning efficiently, and even if it took a little longer, just knowing that things were cleaner and I didn't have to buy all this product and spend all this money, I started enjoying cleaning. Um, I think once you find a way to enjoy whatever it is you do, it doesn't feel like a chore. So when I clean now, it doesn't feel like a chore. It's just something that I do and I enjoy it because the, you know, the result of it. And then following Morgan made it that much more fun. So yes. So I, you know, better late than never, you know, so um, I'm just going to put, um, I'm just going to put a little asterisk. I'm just going to put an asterisk on each one that lets me know what that is. All right. So for the second, I don't even think I need to put baseboards because I, oh no, actually I do. Baseboards need to be walked in, wiped down frequently. All right. So I'm just going to put all baseboards and door frames. light switches all right and so Tuesday is blinds and dust furniture all right and Wednesday is going to be top of kitchen cabinets Thursday is going to be carpets. Oh, that's what I need to get. Carpet freshener. See, good thing I remembered. All right. All right, and then Friday is Grout Fridays. All right, and then Saturday is freshen up all rooms. And then laundry room. There we go, laundry room. All right, and I think, I think that's all. I need to put the, I'll just put like a little asterisk next to the numbers that lets me know. that that needs to be done daily. So that is it. That is my plan with me in my home, my zone, home and zone cleaning uh, planner. All right, so there it is. Come on, sit down. All right, put that right there. And that is it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. There we go right there. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you don't know what my favorite cleaning tools are, if you click on my Instagram profile, there's a link and I have cleaning, you know, cleaning favorites or cleaning tools or something like that. They'll let you know everything that I use as far as cleaning. 
So if you have ever, ever have any questions like what, what I use. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and thank you guys for tuning in. Turn the notification bell. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.